Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Life is Strange. Where we last left off, we saved the one person from being killed. So let's keep going. Okay, so we left off right here. I hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh no, um... Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Um, I think we're pouring this the best idea. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around. In the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should Wait. I rewind? It just said that it kind of means I will have consequences in the future. Uh oh. That's uh, not too good. Oh no. This, this isn't good. He didn't change my story? Ooh. What do I do? I'm gonna roll with it. I did the right thing, I think.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Okay, um, let's go back to the... to the inside. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go that way, okay. Okay, uh, Ada. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No. I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Okay. So let's see here. Let's try and go up through this direction. Wait, some full warning. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Alright, so we have to go back to the dorm, so over there is where the future events are going to occur. Let's see, it's from forward. Oh, the door. Where's the door? I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. All right. Let's see. Where it is. No. You're up here. No. Nice. Nice, bro. Find where we go. Yeah. Uh, do I have to go through? Yeah. If I told Warren what's going on, would he laugh? Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, yeah. the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> so 
Since you know all the answers, okay. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, no. Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay, let's go to this guy. Can I? No, I know I can't. Oh. Huh, maybe we can... I don't know. Can't talk no. to anyone, seriously? Okay. Where do I go? Sweet! Hmm. This guy now. Whoa. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Okay, so I... I missed something. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Do you understand English? Get lost. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Dang, what do I do? missed something. I better rewind. Let's see, we have to do something with that up there. No. I don't know where to go. Oh wait. Nice, bro. Uh -huh. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Where do I go? Hold on. I don't know where to go. Do you understand English? None shall pass. There's only one way around this. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. I think I figured it out. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I think I did it. The girls move. Let's see if I'm out. Sweet. I think that's what we had to do. Dude. There we go. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? 
thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Your Victoria so is not getting the hint. We'd see your ass so fast. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Next to Victoria. Okay, let's see if this works. Keep walking, hippie. Victoria is not getting the hint. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I think we got this. Takes a little, a little bit of exploring. Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Nice. Awesome. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I'm gonna call her. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. Yeah. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I, get I hope those sluts spot. get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Nice. Victoria probably played me. Wait, this act. Oh no. What am I doing? There's gonna be so many consequences to go over later on. Hurry, Courtney! This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. His tweet took so long. Sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Where is it? Let me look for the. Let me look for the flash drive. Where is the flash drive? Wait, what? Charge and that he is warrior telling stories. Call me. Oh no. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Mm. Let's water it. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. It's cool if you like having these. Like, oh, are you? Oh, really? 
more, even more consequences. What? One day I'll organize my film collection. I'm just. One day done. I'll get an actual. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. All right. Let's go get it. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? You what ridiculous. didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You, you never talk. Screen. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Patson? Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. We rewind that. Hey, Juliet. Oh, here. yes, Max. So I've been Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. You are uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria, huh. she saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. This is gonna end up badly. This is gonna end up badly. Oh god, there's so many things. Um, what do I do? Missing person poster. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Ah, yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. <laughs> okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Mm. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Well then. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring the. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Speaking of selfies. Whoa. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Those boots are made for walking runways. 
Dior, Givenchy. You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Crap, what do I look at? Um, that? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria, give me a fucking break. Yeah. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Crap. Um. Oh uh, no, what do I do? I did open up this room. I know that, but what do I do in here? That's the thing. I don't understand. I checked out everything. I really don't know. Do I have to mess this up? I mean, I already used the tablet, so. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Photo. I'm photoing everything that I can because I know there's some secret photos you can take throughout the game. I know that much for sure. There we go, I got an achievement. But. Do I have to talk to Victoria? Let's try talking to Juliet one more time. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay. Um. No need to go there now. No need to go there now. Okay. We get it. She's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> they live. Hmm. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. did was draw a peace sign and I'm gonna have consequences for it like uh, this game this freaking game do I have to go out here no oh crap um what do I do I looked at everything in here Looking to see if there's any extra options. Laptop. Oh, I think this is what I had to look at. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. There we go. That's what I need to do. Alright, take that. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I don't know. She 
he's gonna be right outside the door. Oh, okay, sweet. That's nice. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay, there we go. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay, I picked up the USB. Oh god. I don't mind being out here forever. I love this part of the world. I'm afraid the consequences. All the consequences in this episode. Oh no. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. <laughs> what? What did I miss? Alyssa, move your head! If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Okay, there we go. What? What? Oh, wait. I think she got the memo. Um. Oh well. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh no. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I've already incurred so many consequences already. Uh, intervene. I can't take a photo. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Sweet. There we go. I felt like an everyday what? hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh, do I do it? Do I do it? You know what? YOLO. We gotta stick with it. Even if I will only, I feel like I'm only gonna rewind if I have to. If I'm absolutely forced to do it. Like if I miss something or something. But if I make a strict choice and it recommends me to rewind, I'm not going to. Because I want to see how this game plays out. Uh, I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Uh, uh, I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. I won't bother you then. 
I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zack and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Come on over here! Please! How many missing persons posters are there? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Um, uh, well, thank you. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um... How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're oh, one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Oh no. Answer me, bitch! Uh. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No! You told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Okay guys, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. All the consequences though, man. Let's just see where this takes us. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.